with another tutorial. I um, have a few hat orders that I'm gonna complete. So I wanted to show you how I assemble those. So I have them cut out already. Um, this will be the top part of the hat. Then I also have the rim or the bib. And then this will be my base and the little part that goes on the top of the hat. And I'll be using my famous three-in-one glue. So to get started, I normally start with my side pieces. Um, that would be these. Um, there's gonna be six of those. So I usually just kind of separate out all my pieces. And you have three pieces for the base, for the bottom part. And then there's six pieces that's gonna form the sides. There's the other one. There's some perforated lines already on these. So that's where you basically would score or fold. I normally would take all six of them and fold on that line. I just press down, nice crease, and then I separate them out. And I'm gonna add just a little glue to the three little flaps, because that's what we're gonna attach the pieces to. And you don't need a whole lot of glue. And you line them up end to end. And then I just kind of press and hold. And then I'll repeat that process until I have all six of those put together. And then once I get all of them together, I just kind of go back around, press firmly against those creases, just to make sure that all of them are sealed. And then I'll connect my last piece. While I assemble the other pieces, I put that piece to the side, but that is now put together. That's the sides. And I'll go ahead and glue the base together. And we 
we're just going to stack those three on top of one another like that. the edges are nice and even and secure that and then I'll put that to the side to dry and the last part that has to be folded and glued together would be the top of the hat we're gonna have six pieces this is the piece that I put on last this is gonna be the one to connect it and it has the cutout in the center. So I just put that one to the side and I grab the other pieces and they have perforated lines as well. And I just kind of fold each angle on that line. So I'm just gonna nicely press and fold. And I'm going to do the same thing for the top part. There's a little perforated line on the top. And this is the edge that we're going to put the glue on. This is the most tedious part. So when you do that, you just want to make sure you're taking your time adding the glue on those flaps. And the glue will be on the inside of the actual hat, so you don't have to worry about, you know, showing that on the outside. So what I do, I just run glue up that edge. Not a whole lot, just enough to make sure it's going to hold the um, pieces together. And I normally will start at the bottom, line up my edges, pressing and holding for a few seconds on the bottom. And you just want to make sure you press and hold. And then I continue to go up the edge, pressing and holding those pieces into place. And I'll continue to add glue along the other edge. Starting again at the bottom. I'm just gonna press and hold for a second. And then working my way up the seam, pressing and holding. And then I'll do the other edge, add the glue up the seam, just a little glue. along the bottom edge and pressing firmly to make sure it is secured. my way 
up the edge of the side. And then I'm just going up and down that seam to make sure I have it sealed. one more piece before having to put that middle connector piece on. So again, just adding a little glue along the edges. And I'm gonna repeat the process. Start at the bottom. Press and firm, press and Make sure that you're holding it firmly. I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds. And then going up the sides. Pressing firmly as I go. I just want to make sure you get those creases. Because again, this is the top part of your hat and you want it to be very neat. And now I'm ready for my last piece. It's the same process, but it's what joins the final edges together. So I'm gonna take my edge, starting at the bottom, pressing and holding firmly for a few seconds. work my hand up and down that little bottom section just to make sure it is there and then I'm gonna start working my way up to the top just work up and down that edge firmly and then I'm gonna just go ahead and fold down these edges and add some glue along the seam and then now I'm gonna take this flap that I'm um, connecting and put it make sure it's kind of on the inside you're kind of gonna bend the hat a little okay so you kind of make a little bend go back to the bottom pressing and holding and just want to get that bottom part in place See any excess glue? Try to catch it while it's wet. I normally have my rubber eraser, but I don't think I brought it in here with me, so I'm just having to take my hand and just catch any excess glue. Okay, so now that I have the bottom in place, I'll just kind of work my way up the top and I'm going to sit it down and press down on the middle section that had the cut out. I'm going to just kind of press down and work that side 
in there. Okay. So you just want to kind of press down, get it good and secured. And then what I normally would do is flip the hat over and then just kind of press it in that spot. And then I flip it back over and then just kind of press it together. And then flip it over again and press those pieces down on that last connector. And again, if you have any excess glue, you just want to go ahead and wipe that off while it's kind of still wet. make sure I have that pressed down together good. And then you have this little connector piece that goes across the top. So I just add the glue directly to the top of the hat, just a couple dabs. And then I place that piece on the top. Just kind of press it in place for a little bit. And if I see any excess glue, and my seam, I usually have like a little needle and I just kind of pull that off. Okay. So the top part is now finished and there's a few little holes that were already created. Normally what I would do is take a little needle and just go around the, the hat and pop those through. And just pop those out. Okay, so the top part is complete. Now, I'm gonna grab the base that we glued together, the three pieces, and I'm gonna grab the sides. And you have these flaps along the edges, and that's what you're gonna add your glue to, and then stick it around the base of the hat. So I'm just gonna add a little glue. And I sit it down on my table and line my edges up. And I only do one part at a time, one little corner or side at a time. So I'm just gonna press down firmly. Once it's there, I can pick it up and just kind of run my finger across that area to make sure it's secured. And then I add glue to two more sides. So I did one side first, and now I'm doing two edges at the same time. And that's my sides. So I'm gonna lay that one side down first. And then I'm gonna take my hand while holding the other side and I'm gonna press down firmly on the other side as well. So now I'm holding both of those sides that I just added the glue to. I just wanna make sure those are down and secured in place before you try to put the glue on the other three edges. Okay. 
Now, once I have those three in the back, I flip it over and I bend the bib just a little, just enough to get under the flaps. And I rub glue along those edges. And I'm gonna then flip it back over and press those three down. Pressing and holding. Okay. And while that's kind of still drying, I grab my flap for the front or the bib and I'm just kind of add a little glue to that. Not a whole lot. And then I place that on the front side. Just kind of line it up and press it a little. I don't do too much pressing on that because I don't want any glue to run through that. So I just kind of press it a little bit. And then you have this last shape that goes on the inside to hide any of the flaps and to make the bottom base look very neat. So you're just going to add some glue to that. And I fold it a little to work it into those creases and corners. And then I press it down all the way. And then I can take my top of the hat and that on. So I have it completed now. And then I have my little label. This is the Lakers logo. And I use sticker paper. Print that out and cut it. And I use my needle to peel away the backing. And then I take my needle, hold that in place. Place that where I want it. And then I also take the 5950 sign. Peel that away. That's also sticker paper. Put it on my needle to help position it. And then I place it on the edge of the bib. And then I also have my new era logo that I'm gonna be adding to the side as well. And I use my transfer tape for that. So I'm going to grab a little piece of transfer tape. And I put my transfer tape on there, just kind of rub it. This is just something I made from vinyl. Peel that off. And I usually put it right here and I just use the transfer tape to move that from one paper backing to the actual hat itself and just rub it and put it in position and there's my baseball cap treat favor box these were a big hit for me um last father's day I went viral with those and then this year I see everybody started doing the hats, um, but hey, I'm still continuing to get orders and I'm still processing and sending them out. And that's how I make my treat boxes. Now I still have a few more that I have to work on. I have a navy blue LA Dodgers. I already have that one put together. I just need to add the LA symbol on that in the new era logo. So I'm going to use my transfer tape to put on the LA sign. Use 
transfer tape. And with this, I'm just gonna take the base part off, grab the front part, and then position my vinyl and sticky tape on there and press that down. And then I'll add the new arrow logo to the side. And there's my LA Dodgers. And I need to poke out this hole it hadn't been poked out yet. And now I have my Lakers and my LA Dodgers completed. And hat comes off, treats go in. They're perfect for strawberries and I've seen alcohol bottles go in, shot glasses go in. You can use them as jury holders. They're the perfect size. And they make the best little gifts. Now, I also have one more, which is going to be the Black Chicago Bulls. Um, so I'm going to stop recording now, and I'm going to put the black one together using that same process. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please like and subscribe. Please hit the bell notif for notifications of new videos that I post. And as always, thanks for watching Lottie's Creations.